I'll bring your bony ass down here. Ah, uh, Danny Woolen. He's my brother-in-law. You remember Jess? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course it's you, mate. Hey, hey, hey. Look, Mick, I've, uh, I've had to charge you. Yeah, Sergeant said car theft, eh? Come on, you're a cop, Michael. You must be able to do something. What can I do, Jess? Honestly. You know, I just can't make these charges disappear. Well, what about Max? There must be something you can do. Isn't it? Judge dismissed the charges, you know? That's it. I'm free. Jess... Jess is in the house, mate. The boy's in a pretty bad way. He was out here with Danny when it happened. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uncle Mick's here. The day that Danny was arrested, I followed him to this pub. I saw him talking to this guy who had a beard and he was wearing a suit. Now, someone said his name was Tito, but I ran him through cops and I couldn't find anything. Oh, this is a big head blonde bloke called Antonello, aka Tino. Mick. Who is it, Jess? What's going on here? You think Tino did something? What? Look, tell me. Danny was a spiritual guy. I'd like the service to show that. Of course. Turn that off, Max. He believed in God. He was a spiritual guy. So the service will show that. And... I want him to be remembered like that. What? What's that look supposed to mean? What look? Well, you think he doesn't deserve a service like that? No, that's not what I'm thinking at all, Jess. I'm sure Michael isn't. The service will be a celebration of Danny's life. Nice and quiet back here, eh? Yeah. Are you gonna catch the man who killed my dad? Yeah, Max, I will. You can count on that. Very poor inside. And it looks like it's just disintegrated. Keep your eye out for a buddy. What's that? Oh man, get down there. That's he's alive. I'll get her in as close as I can. Well done, guys. No, no more, Jack. That's 
shift. Well, if we go from home and bring her to work, it's still a whinge. No, you are a home. You're a home. <laughs> well, if I had accelerated, the guy in the oh. Jeep would have run us over, oh. and then what? Yeah. Boom. Not breaking any laws, were we? Um, Detective Sinclair and Christy, this is Sergeant Simmons, our new custody manager. Vanessa. Okay. It's good to have some new young blood around here. What is this supposed to mean? Alex, hi. Anything I can do for you, just let me know. Actually, there is something. I'm doing a station inspection, so if you can report to me with your appointments on the next shift. Your police issue appointments. My gun. And, uh, it's my licence here. And I'll tell you what, if the guy on the licence doesn't look as handsome as me, it's because I had a hangover at the time. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Jack. Performing seal, is he? Got something for you two? A boat accident. Ah, uh, we don't do accidents. Will you let me finish? Okay, the woman driving's in a critical condition. The hospital faxed this over. It's a CAT scan. She has a bullet in her head. Ooh. Ouch. Who she is? No, listen, there's no ID, but the doctor thinks she's in her early 40s. Okay, well, these are the x rays. Mm. They said the bullets are too dangerous to remove. Oh. So I reckon we get these down to ballistics and see if they can tell us what hit her. Have you spoken to me? No, not lately. Oh. I'm happy to try, try later on. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, Mick, isn't it? Good day, mate. Do you know? Thought I'd come around, pay my respects, you know? I told him I didn't know if it was a good idea. Yeah. Why did you get out? No. Just thought I'd come around. What you out of the house, mate? Oh, look, I just wanted to see you needed anything, you know? Found one of those shops sell these games second-hand. Thought I'd pick one up for the little fella, you know? You're deaf, mate. I want you oh. out. <laughs> hey, look, here he is. Eh? Look at that. Speak of the devil. G'day, mate. How are you, buddy? Hey, you all right? Yeah. It's for you. Something for you, all right? Good you. Yeah, sure. Hey, <laughs> Steady on, buddy. Hey, what? Get it up. Hey? Get hey, up. Get hey, mate, up. what's your problem? I'll see you next to my no, sister no. again, mate. I'll tear you apart. I care about you, oh, you don't right? care about her mate Danny was rebirthing cars for you. No, you're out of your mind. No, you see, you thought he rolled over. That's why you killed him, Tino, and I'm going to prove it. Oh, you're making accusations, mate. You're a maggot, Tino. You're making accusations. You better think about who that might affect, huh? What? Are you threatening my family? Oh, no, mate. You're threatening yourself. Hey? You're threatening my family. When you come around here with flowers like a polyester gown, oh, I'll kick your ass, Tino. Hmm? You better watch it, Tino. Yes, you got to tell me this, okay? Right. Did you tell Tino that Max was going to talk to the police? No. No, you sure? No, I didn't. He did it, Aggie. He killed Danny. He might as well just come out and said it. Just calm down, Mick, all right? Now, what did he say exactly? Well, that's it. He, he intimated it. Mick. Mate, I can't arrest him on a nod and a wink. You know that. Anyway, he's come up with an alibi. He's got an alibi? Who alibied him? A couple of dickheads from the pub. Oh, come on. He's got to be paying them off. Have you checked that out? No, I haven't, Mick, but I got me a genuine witness. That little boy in there. No, no, we're not going there, Aggie, all right? Please, mate, we're not Look, going there. Please, talk to Jess, all right? Get her to bring Max in. It'll be a special police officer, it'll be a special room. You know how it works, Mick. Thanks for coming in, by the way. I really do appreciate this, all right? Kate will... Oh, it's Kate now. Kate Kirby. This is Jess Hi. and Michael, Hello. my brother. Hi, Michael. How are you, Kate? And you must be Max. Hi. Do you want to come inside with me? No, I don't want to. No. You can bring Action Man if you want. We can play some PlayStation. No! I don't want to! I don't want him to be here! Come on, hey, Max, Max. <laughs> no! This is where we found her. All right. So a witness reported that the boat went out of control about 50 metres from this bridge. Right, so she was shot about there? Yeah, and we know that the bullet came in from the right-hand side. Right, no witnesses reported hearing any gunshots? You, you can't tell me that someone with a rifle wouldn't have been seen walking along this shoreline. What if the shooter was on the bridge? The same deal, someone would have seen something. So where did they shoot her from? How about from over there? Hey, Jack. Yeah. Okay, no one I spoke to heard any gunshots or saw anything suspicious, but this one woman, she said this guy, right? Yeah, uh, combat. 
That's his name. Cute name, huh? Anyway, uh, she said he's got this whole collection of guns. Likes to talk about it to the old women. Give him oh, yeah, it sounds fright. like a real charmer. A woman around the back yeah. like, told me that he collects Nazi uniforms. Hey, Jack, looks like we've got something. Yeah, what? yeah, Jack, there's a guy in 8G who's got a bunch of guns. Ah, oh, three times lucky. Oh. Right. Oh. This is a warrant to search your premises. Oh. Look, we turn this down. Catch you in the middle of something, did we? You should get some air in here every couple of months or so. You just can't come in here like this? Oh, this yes, we a... can, sir. See, there's been a shooting in the area, and we believe there are firearms on the premises. Well, I don't think, look, you could just stop this warrant. You can't come in here. I can't that. He was in possession of the warrant, and he tore it up. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Look <laughs> at this, Jack. I didn't shoot anybody. So what's with all the sniper rifles, combat? I'm a collector. Alex, they're all licensed, okay? All the firing pins have been removed. They're all legal. Okay, so, so this is your thing, is it? Killing from a distance? Did you know that a good sniper can keep 30 men pinned down and still have time to eat a sandwich? Where were you at 7.30 this morning? Uh, well, I was, I was just getting home. I was getting home. Mm. I work nights at the moment. I'm a computer coder. No, and I'm Jack. Right. Oh. So you were at home last night. Anybody verify that? It seems to me I'd be better off if no one could verify it. Now, listen, it, it's not a trick question. Um, Brett. Brett Small says it on your license, is that right? So you were at home? Yes, I was. Do you have access to the roof of your building? Uh, everybody does. Yeah, but everybody doesn't have a World War II Mauser sniper rifle mounted on their wall. Deadly accurate after half a mile. Do you want to be charged with attempted murder? I didn't do anything. OK, so, uh... What's with all the Nazi memorabilia? Actually, most of it's Wehrmacht. I do have some Nazi items, some Gestapo. You know, I really like the uniforms. The Gestapo is made black leather what it is today. Ah, oh, I'm Vanessa Simmons, the new custody officer. Oh, I've been right. trying to get to meet you all morning. I'm doing a station inspection. I need to check your appointments. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, please. Um... Right. I think we've met. Yeah, we met before. <laughs> we met somewhere, yeah. Would you excuse me for a moment? Walker. Hello, Gail. Yes, Gail. No, Gail. Well, why did the school change the... Just excuse me for a moment. Later? Yeah, sure. Well, why did the school change the appointment time? And how long have you known that for? I see. Righto, don't worry about it. Yep, I'll see you there. Bye. Look, I'm worried, OK? Because Max, my nephew, He's the only witness to the murder. And if Tino did kill Danny, then Max and Jess are vulnerable. OK, but listen, if he's guilty, then why would he come around to see Jess? It's his way of showing me that he can get at them, Jack. So what's the story with this alibi? Well, Tino got some regulars from the uh, Long Day Hotel to vouch for him. You know the place? Oh, yeah, it's owned by a buffhead called Chapman. He used to be a big footy coach. Yeah, Chapman, I've heard of him. He's into a bit of everything. Slimy piece of work. You know, he likes to make people uh, not speak out of school, you know. Oh, you think he's involved? Michael, I don't think you should go chasing this investigation yourself. Let Aggie handle it. Oh, good day, Mick. Hey, you The divers are back. We think we've got an ID on the injured woman. Do you want to come with me? OK, it was a speedboat and it must have been a beauty. The forensics are onto it now. So you've got no ID? Uh, no, but we do have a registration. Yeah, it's registered in the name of Thelma Rabinowitz. I got hold of her work number and a boss said she didn't show for work this morning. So, but, uh, so she's Jewish then, Rabinowitz. OK, yeah, thanks. What's it? Listen to the funerals tomorrow. OK, you're saying it's a hate, hate killing. Yeah, well, we've got this yeah, guy yeah, who collects Nazi rifles living at a flat overlooking where a joint... Oh, right, OK. Yeah, 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 thanks, mate. Listen, that was forensic. One of Combat's rifles has been fired recently. It could be a match for a slug in the woman's head, oh, right? Go get him. OK, you want to take yep. that? Some, sometimes I use it to, to scare magpies away, stuff, stuff like that. Have you ever heard of saying shoe? Are you telling me that you fired an 8mm sniper's rifle out that window to scare away a bird. So, I, I was drunk. <laughs> now, there was a girl here. I, I, I was just showing off. It was, you know, it, was, it, was, it was very stupid. It was illegal. So, uh, the woman who was shot, did you know she was Jewish? How would I? So she's a Jew, what, because I, I have Nazi daggers? You think I kill Jews now? You know, some people may find your collection offensive. This is not offensive. Making lampshades out of people is offensive. This... Oh, is this how you get all your convictions? A Protestant's killed, so you kick in the door of the local Irish Catholic priest?
Hey, Aggie. Yeah, I see you. Hey, mate. Hiya, brother. Where you go. What do you know about Billy Chapman? Billy Chapman uh, owns a Long Day Hotel. He's a bit dodgy, but he's all right. All right. From what I hear, he could have organised Tino's alibi. Could Tino be working for him? Oh, you know, make anything's possible. Well, don't exert yourself, eh, brother? I mean, these shitheads just threatening my family, that's hey, all. Hey, hey, hey. It's all right, mate. It's all right. I told you I'd look after it, didn't I? We got Tino. They're picking him up now. What happened? Oh, a bit of a crack in his alibi, mate. One of his dickhead mates. Got the story wrong? You want to join us? Like that. Excellent. Come on. I mean, we know that Danny wasn't the smartest bloke. Danny made mistakes. Really stuffed up your car racket, didn't it? How'd that make you feel? I don't know anything about it, so I don't feel anything about it. So we arrested Danny. That led to the arrests of some of your other boys. Danny got the blame, and then he was murdered. So you say? Oh, no, that's a fact, Tino. But you know about that, don't you? Because you went around there to visit his wife and child, didn't you? That's all right. Why would I do something like that if I had anything to do with killing him, eh? Well, I don't know, mate. You tell me. Was it, uh, respect? Or was it something a little more sinister? You're trying to send a message to her. Turn it up. Hmm? Hey, a ton of blokes told you I was at the pub when Danny was shot. I never left. Well, what if I was to tell you that your story's been blown by one of your mates? He stuffed up. Told me you left, Tino. Who was it? It was a Johnny Graves. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah, Johnny Bloody Graves. <laughs> is, is that all you got? Johnny Bloody Greaves. He's such a pisspot, he'd be lucky to remember his name. <laughs> you got nothing. The word of one drunk. Billy Chapman and all of his staff have vouched that I was there too. So? You gonna judge me? Look, I'm sorry, Mick. I can't hold him any longer, you know. I've got nothing to hold him for. So he's right about Johnny Greaves, is he? Well, yeah, maybe, but don't worry, he's on the hook, mate. We'll get him. Well, how do you know that? Oh. Hello. Bill? Who's that guy, Aggie? That's Billy Chapman. That's Billy Chapman? He's got a high turn up here, isn't he? So that's our next stop then, Chapman. Yeah, Because he's the boss. Uh, all in good time, OK, Mick? What do you mean, all in good time, Mick? Hey? What do you mean? Billy Chapman's a registered informant of mine, OK? What? Yeah, so it's just a little bit tricky, just... So what are you saying to me, Aggie? Are you shielding Chapman, are you? No, 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 no way. I just need a bit of time to talk to him, OK? Just... Now, listen, I'll get Tino, I will promise you that. You can guarantee that to me? See you, boys. Hey, have a good one. Sorry, Jess, I, I just woke up and I, I couldn't find him. I got a bit worried. You all right? Mm -hmm. Stay strong, all right, brother?
hell are you doing here, Mick? Mick. Mick. What are you doing here? I was just want to talk to Tina. Oh, you didn't do anything stupid, did you? No. Mick, you shouldn't be here, mate. Get well, out. What are you doing here? You're doing a search. Where did you get a warrant? Look, a bloke came forward. A bloke lived down the street from Jess, OK? What? Well, you got a witness. Well, yeah. where did this witness come from? You're compromising my investigation. Now, will you get off the property? Leave it to me, Nick. This is a fit-up. That's, that's not my balaclava, mate. It is not my balaclava. You tell that to your oh, yeah. lawyer, Hey, too, this no? is your doing, isn't it? I saw you out here. Hey, Get back in your dog box, too, before gonna I arrest this, you, mate. you bloody hey, fool. You haven't heard the last of this. No-one sets me up, buddy, and gets away with it, all right? You hear me, buddy? Smart-ass little bastard. Looks like we got a result, mate. I haven't got enough to rest him just yet, but I'll get him to keep searching. Is this legit? I'm going to run this balaclava through the forensics. If he's the killer, as you and I both know he is, mate, it's going to show it. All right. But how come this witness just suddenly turns up, mate? Don't know, Mick. You tell me. How's it work? Guilty conscience. Didn't want to get involved. Whatever. I'll call you. All right. Do me a favour. Will you get the hell out of here now? Yeah, she's going downhill, Jack. Yeah, she, she's lost just about all brain function. So, um, what, did, what did Helen have to say? Listen, they tracked down Thelma's ex-husband. Yeah, he lives in Brisbane, but he's been in Sydney on some business conference. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's in town the very time that she gets shot in the head. I think we should get him in for a bit of a chat. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean our Nazi's off the hook. Oh, look, I'm just after a nice, clean suspect with a nice, clear motive. Yeah, in my book, you can't go past an ex. Yeah, well, life's not always that easy, Jack. So, anyway, where's this Mr Rabinowitz? Uh, Brisbane. What? Mr Rabinowitz flew back this morning. He still doesn't know what happened, but Sergeant Blakemore's contacted the Brisbane police, and when he arrives... I want him back here, and I want him back here pronto. OK, and mix upstairs. He's been waiting for you, too. Thanks, guys. No worries. See you go. She's nice. It's the only way you're going to get over there, mate. Just get back out. Give it a rest. I mean it. Give it a rest. Get back out there. Oh. Sergeant Simmons. Uh, Vanessa's fine. I need to check your appointments. Uh, yep. No problem. My gun's locked away upstairs. Do you have your licence? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep putting you off like this all the time. It's... <laughs> we, we, we've met somewhere before, haven't we? Was it on that course, that... No, it was at the marble bar about a year ago. Ah, yes. Um, yes, I do recall. Uh, excuse me. Michael, how could you do it? Oh, I, I, I don't know, Alex. Look, I just lost it, OK? You know, Tuno's lawyer is going to try and get this balaclava thrown out. You know why? Because you're a family member of the deceased. You're on the property prior to the search. How was I to know that Aggie was going to raid him, Jack? OK, what's Aggie say about the brief? Well, he says it'll be all right, you know. I mean, I didn't enter the house. But look, is there anything I can do for you? You want a lift? No, uh, no, I'm, I'm fine, Alex. Thanks, anyway. Yeah, Riley. Yeah? Right. No, 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 Aggie. Aggie, I want to be there. Shut up. It's not my balaclava! You know it isn't, you little bastard! Shut up, you idiot. Yeah, you'll keep my... Do it around me! Mick? What's this evidence? Well, the balaclava had burrs from Western Australian cash arena tray. Very rare in Sydney. But we found one in Jess's backyard. Is that enough? Yeah, mate, that'll do. You just tell your nephew that the bad guy's going to go away, all right? Uh, Aggie, Aggie, I don't want any favours, mate, OK? Because this is on the up and up. Mick, you know he did it, OK? I know he did it. What's your bloody problem? Hmm? Hey, come on. Antonello Giordelli, I'm charging you with the murder of Danny Bullen. Yeah, wait. I want to say something. If I was to cooperate, would it make any difference? But cooperate in what way? If I was to say I know who owns the gun that killed Danny. Who? I want protection. Who owns the gun? Billy Chapman, he owns the gun. That's a pretty big accusation to make, Tina. Well, I'm not admitting to killing anyone. 
but I know for a fact. The chapman told me there was a hole in the ground. He wanted Danny in it. We remember Danny as a man flawed like the rest of us. As a man who genuinely loved the company of others. As a man who did his best for his family. We remember him as a man who to the very end was loyal to his friends. We therefore commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Those of us who are left alive shall be in time caught up with them to meet the Lord and so be with the Lord forever. Encourage each other with these words. Thank you, Father. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Sorry. Chase Chapman. What on Tino say so? Mate, that guy's a rat, alright? He'll say anything to get out of it. But why would he lie? No, no, you yourself know that Chapman is someone not to be messed with. Nick, Tino's the killer. Alright, he's going down. But well, you're not happy with that? You're protecting Chapman, aren't you? Now, that's an accusation I'll choose to ignore, Mick. But I will say this. People like Chapman are more used to us on the outside than on the inside. Alright? What do you want? You know who I am? Of course I do. You're a cop. My sister Jess was married to Danny Bullen, and you ordered him killed. Well, aren't you the big swinging dick? I give you a brain to go with it. I know you got Aggie in your pocket, Chapman. Alex, that's the husband, Mr. Rubinowitz. Thank you, Jeff. Mm. Look, I'm delegating the reorganising of the schedules, mm -hmm. okay, to Vanessa today. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm giving her a free hand, but she wants to implement the new software. So I thought I'd get on with a few things that are outstanding, uh, and I can do some of that. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could be a bit more, I don't know, upbeat, amusing, something. I've been very patient listening to me droning on here. <laughs> Mum always said, other people's problems are more important than your own. Hmm. Yeah, I think your boyfriend must be a fool. He's got no idea what he's giving up. You're better off without your wife too, Jeff. <laughs> Seems we're both unappreciated masterpieces. <laughs> Next to unappreciated masterpieces. Time to go. I mean, yes, yes, that is a good idea, Helen. And I, of course, am 100% behind you. Excuse me, won't you? I, uh, I just sent her to the hospital. Just lying there. I had no idea. But, Mr. Rabinovich, you, you were talking about the breaker. Well, Thelma uh, left me about seven months ago. And she took the, uh, the boat and, and my car, and uh, I got the house. Um, can you tell us why she left you? 
Well, if you ask me, it was a midlife crisis. She hit 40 and all she could talk about was a lost youth and how fat her thighs were, as if I care. She loved that boat. Do you know of anybody who'd want to hurt her? My attorney, he wanted to hurt her. Why? Um, we're investigating the possibility that someone tried to kill your ex-wife. Kill her? What are you on about? The officer I spoke to said it was a boating accident. This is the water police, isn't well, it? Mr Rabinovich, it should have been made clearer to you. There was an accident. Your ex suffered severe head injuries, but an X-ray revealed that she was shot in the head. I know, it's not funny at all, but... That bullet. You wouldn't believe the trouble it's given us over the years. What, what do you mean? You, you know about the bullet? It's been there for 15 years. Yeah, she was shot 15 years ago. Too dangerous to take out at the time. What was the shooting about? Well, suffice to say, it's been there a very long time. Now, you can talk to the doctor in Brisbane. He knows all about it. It was a hunting accident. Now, can I go, please? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to see my boss. Sorry for the delay. Oh, so I guess on combat, he gets the guns back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, I'll be there, all right? Chapman. A couple of idiots give me a smack as I was getting in the car. <laughs> Figured out that I'd probably work for him and then, uh, Got a phone call from Chapman to see how I was feeling. What the hell are you doing going to see him, Nick? I just wanted to give him a rattle, you know, to see what happened. I mean, I didn't think he... <laughs> you went to see him because you don't trust me, do you, mate? You don't seem very keen to want to chase him, mate. You don't bloody well trust me, do you, Mick? All right. I don't trust you. So. What are you doing? Where are you going, Aggie? We can control the streets, Mick. Not those scum. Not the way it works. Playing both sides of the street, Aggie, you're gonna get run over. Check on Jess from here. Yep, no worries. I'm on top. Thank you. Should team want to talk to you both separately? Thanks, Chief. Let's be cool, all right? 
Last year in the under eights, they won the competition. His boy was in the same team. This season they'll do it again, I reckon. But did they get a look in at the rep team? Not a chance. Same kids have been in it since the under sixes. The local associations like that. Put the gun down, Aggie! Mate, don't be stupid, all right? Put the gun down! Oh, what well, boy. You always were a bit on the soft side. <laughs> Last bloody time, you'll be pointing a gun at a cop. Well, don't you go a boy scout on me, mate. He's getting too big for his boots, Mick. You could have acted against him properly. Get real. He was making threats, Mick. You interested in football, are you, Mick? No. Got any kids, mate? No. He had you in his pocket, didn't he, mate? He was paying you off, Aggie. He was a registered informer, Mick. He helped me put away a couple of crims. It's called... for the greater good. Just like the DPP losing the file on Danny, just like taking a shortcut with the balaclava. Oh, I thought that was legit. I thought that was Tino's balaclava. Of course it wasn't legit. I bloody set him up. I planted it. And don't you all get all holy with me, mate. Because the moment you asked me, it's all right, to bend the rules for your brother-in-law, you're in the game. Nice clear flat white. You do it in sparkling as well. And don't you all get all holy with me, mate. Because the moment you asked me to bend the rules for your brother-in-law, you're in the game. I've been there. All you got to remember is to stay cool and just tell them exactly what happened. You got nothing to hide. This sort of thing, you know, just lose a bad taste in the mouth. But you get over it. Now, I want you to think long and hard about this, mate. Because if I go down, my brief against Tino is compromised. That means that your nephew is the only legitimate witness that can put him away for life. If I go down, Tino can go visiting your nephew any time he feels like it. Is that what you want? Hmm? You think about that. Mick, get ready for you. You and Aggie been friends for a long time? Since the academy. Your brother-in-law was killed recently by a man who worked for Billy Chapman. Yeah, that's right. Well, because of your personal interest in the matter, you decide to pursue Chapman yourself. I guess so. If I go down, Tino can go visiting your nephew any time he feels like it. Is that what you want? Hmm? So there's no doubt in your mind Aggie had to shoot Billy Chapman? None at all. It was kill or risk being killed. That's right. OK. Thank you very much. Bye. Right. Well, the preliminary opinion is that there are no problems with Mick and Aggie's account of the shooting. The statements match without being carbon copies. OK, OK. What about the gun? Chapman's gun? Definitely jammed. Thank God. <laughs> OK, uh, Jack and Alex, they're on tender hooks. I'll let them know. Thanks, Al. Ah, Vanessa. Uh, <clears throat> look, I, I wonder if you mind just shutting the door first. For... Uh, I've got all my appointments here. Let's... Everything be in order, I think. Ah, uh, look, I just thought I might take this opportunity to have a word with you about this um, situation that we find ourselves in. I'm flattered you remember. Yeah, well, uh, we'll be working together, so... You can rely on me to be discreet. Done. <laughs> you look so different in a uniform. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>